నమస్కారం రోడ్ లర్నింగ్ హ్యాస్ బీన్ అ ట్రెడిషనల్ ప్రాక్టీస్ ఇన్ ద వైదిక సిస్టమ్ ఆఫ్ స్టడీస్ ఇన్ తమిళ్ వీ కాల్ రోడ్ లర్నింగ్ యాస్ ద మెథడ్ ఆఫ్ సంతై బీట్ ద వేదాస్ దివ్య ప్రబంధం స్తోత్రాస్ ఆర్ ఎనీ అదర్ వేర్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు గెట్ ఎ పోర్షన్ బై హార్ట్ then the best known practice is rote learning the guru spells it once and the shishya repeats the same sentence if it's a tamil poem in nalayara divya prabandham then the shishya repeats thrice if it's a sanskrit shloka or veda mantra then the shishya repeats it twice ucharana is the the first spelt of the acharya anucharana is what the shishya repeats the vedas and divya prabandha have been passed on to the younger generation to this method of rote learning santai murai you may think is it relevant today are we not to be more subjective rather than being objective we need to know the right perspective and not just by heart if you get it by heart and repeat it many times what is that you achieve so why should i spend time getting it by heart instead is it not more meaningful to know the meaning will it not be more useful you are right in a sense but not absolutely right rote learning is very important it forms an integral part of our spiritual pursuit let me tell you why krishna in bhagavad gita mentions abhyasena tu kaunteya vairagyena cha grihyate arjuna many things are achieved by abhyasa abhyasa is repeated practice repeated practice can be one rote learning two mantra japa three when you repeatedly offer ahuti to fire god in a homa kunda when you repeatedly sarkamambulate do pradakshina all these are instances of repeated practice now if you are put a question should you know many mantras and chant them once or know one mantra and chant it many times which one would be more effective the second one we repeat the same tir mantra namo narayanaya the same dwaya we are not taught many mantras upadeshams will have only few mantras but take for instance gayatri mantra we repeat it 100 times during sandhya vandanam why 108 times of the of the same mantra instead can i know many mantras and repeat them once they won't give the needed result this is what krishna tells us abhyasa you have to repeatedly practice it may be a physical practice a mental recall or a vocal chanting manasa kaika vachika repetition no rote learning is a vachika repetition it's a vocal repetition how does this abhyasa help and why is krishna compelling us to do that if you repeat many times then you grow in your patience when you watch tv nowadays you are unable to watch it watch any one channel more than 10 15 minutes you have a remote in hand you switch channels you change channels that's because we don't have patience 
in one tv monitor you have the facility to view two or three channels because we don't have the patience with one channel even if it is a story book in olden days 500 600 pages of story book people have had so much patience and interest in just reading a novel in a single day but nowadays we are not able to we don't read long novels at all why patience is lesser and lesser but if you do this abhyasa you repeat chanting or pradakshina or oblations then you grow in patience patience is the essence of spirituality you are compelled to be patient when you are employed you have to be patient with your co employees with your boss with your founder with whoever you have to be patient when you travel in a train you may be delayed be patient flights are delayed be patient but who is going to teach you patience when you are young this road learning method will teach you circumambulation will teach you because they all repeat and improve your patience this is the first benefit then second a small mantra with two three lines i repeat it which means small things can achieve bigger ones your objectives can be great can be big no need that your means should also be big enough not necessary at all small things can achieve big things you have a jockey you rotate the jockey the car is lifted up you change the wheel now the jockey and the effort you put is very little but a mighty big car a heavy car is lifted up similarly a simple mantra can achieve many things so your efforts are less but your efforts are so pure in nature they are chased so that they are able to achieve many great things this is the essence of chanting the mantra would be small but i repeat it by repetition i show my devotion i show my dedication now you have to note the difference between modern education and spiritual education the laukika method of learning and vaidika method the difference is in laukikam in your modern education it is your intelligence that matters your brilliance you have to be smart clever but in vaidika system it's your dedication it's your perseverance that matter more that is why if you want to prove your intelligence then how many mantras do you know would be the question but if one has to prove his dedication then how many times are you able to repeat the same simple mantra that would be the question you know the difference now so perseverance and dedication they are brought out by repeated chanting by abhyasa your patience that improves by chanting abhyasa you acknowledge that small things matter even they can achieve bigger objectives so these are the benefits of rote learning that's why the whole divya prabandha vedas avastotras we have learnt it through this method and it has been a very proven method followed by our great acharyas thousands of years ago so i would like to impress upon you instead of reading through or trying to by heart just follow this procedure of rote learning that will help you directly to by heart and it gives you a great by product perseverance devotion the acknowledgement that small things matter they can achieve a lot then improving your patience these are the by products of rote learning i'm sure you will follow this rote learning and start with santai immediately